This video shows how changing the maximum battery current limit setting in Vestool affects the speed and acceleration of an electric vehicle. The electric bicycle I used to take this data has a 14S 5P battery, a little FOC or controller, and a crystallite hub motor. Both runs are full throttle accelerations with the maximum motor current set to 100 amps. The battery current is set to either 40 or 60 maximum battery amps. This time series plot shows the wheel RPM for the two runs. The orange line is for the 40 amp run and the blue line is for the 60 amp run. We see the same initial acceleration and same top speed for both runs. The difference is that the acceleration drops more quickly for the lower maximum battery current. Let's contrast this with the wheel speed that we saw in a previous video where we kept the battery current at 100 amps and varied the motor current between 60 90 and 120 amps. When we varied the motor current, the initial acceleration changed since the motor current, torque, thrust, and initial acceleration are all proportional. Let's go back to the wheel speed for different maximum battery currents where the initial accelerations are the same. We can see that the 60 amp run reaches speeds between 300 and 400 RPM about one second before the 40 amp run. What does our simple model of the controller predict for the behavior of the currents and the speed? In a full throttle run, the controller tries to maintain the max motor current of 100 amps. As the RPM increases, the motor voltage increases, causing the output voltage and the output electrical power to increase. The controller raises the input battery current to match the input and output power. The controller lets the battery current increase up to the maximum limit and holds it there until the motor voltage begins limiting the motor and battery currents. We can see our predictions in the battery current time series. The battery current rises and levels off at the maximum value of either 40 amps or 60 amps and then begins to decrease as the motor voltage starts limiting the motor current. Looking at the speed and current graphs on the same x-axis, we see that a higher battery current leads to a higher sustained rate of motor current and therefore higher torque and acceleration in the mid-RPM range. The increasing of the maximum battery current increases the peak power of the system that is required to produce full torque at higher RPM. Now we look at a torque speed graph instead of a time series. We see what we expect in both cases, a peak motor current of 100 amps. The 60 amp curve shows the system is able to maintain that peak current and torque to a higher RPM than the 40 amp curve. So the takeaway is that if you want a high initial acceleration at low RPM, raise your motor current limit. And if you want to maintain that acceleration at higher RPM, raise your battery current limit.